Well, good morning and welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures. <clears throat> now, I haven't been out for a few weeks, I have to say. Uh, to be fair, I think it's probably the conga, conga straps that are doing my head in. But anyway, I've been, I have, I have been busy. I haven't just uh, done nothing for the last few weeks. So, well, I did say a little while ago, um, I've added some new stuff, a couple of bits and pieces. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, connect and view an external media on a Garmin MFD. In this case, the 8410 XSV GPS map. So, <clears throat> first of all, you do obviously need uh, Enemy A system. Uh, that's all got to be uh, installed first off anyway, which I've already done. That's uh, a Network 2000 system, so, and also you need a compatible Enemy A stereo. So in my case, I've got the uh, Fusion MS UD750. It's quite easy to uh, install, to be fair. It wasn't that difficult once you've got the backbone system already in place which I've had for a little while, so I've just added the extra cables that I need. So the extra cables you're going to need for this system is an Enemy A 0183 with audio cable, a HDMI cable, a male-to-male -male RCA cable, compatible smartphone, iPhone, whatever, and a compatible NEMA Radio Fusion, which I did say it doesn't have to be Fusion, providing it's compatible Enemy A. It has to be Enemy A. So, what we'll do is we'll start having a look to see how I did this. Now, first off, you do need a master screen. Now, my XSV 8410 is a master, so that basically means I've got all the extra sockets, ethernet cables, audio outlets, all on this screen. Now, with the other screens, the XSVs, they're not masters, so you don't have all the inputs. But once you've got a master and it's linked to your other screens, then all this, what I'm just about to show you, will play through your other screens. But we'll go and have a look at the back of the set in a minute, so you can see what I'm saying with uh, being a master and everything, so that's cool. Uh, but if we just go up the front of the boat here. So the first thing I've got in place is obviously, which you've probably seen in my other videos, is the MS UD750. So this one is all singing and dancing. And this one, I can add my... There you go, there's my music there, all on my iPod. So it's all, all just slides in there nicely, all tucked away. So that's, that's, that's basically what this one is. Obviously, uh, I've got all the uh, extra aerials for it, DAB, etc. But this is just, uh, let's, so let me power that on. I won't play any music for it or anything to start with. What I want to do first off, if I remember rightly, I have only used this a couple of times, literally when I first installed it. So you're going to have to bear with me. It's pretty hit and miss how to set it all up again. So, <clears throat> right, so let me go. Which one is it? I think it's. This one here is going to sort of... Hold on. Hold on. Let me get the volume down on this. Right. Sorry about that. Right. Let's get to the... What do I need? Aux 1. Right. So basically, the audio with RCA cable is coming out the audio and the back of the master set on the XSV. So that now runs and it's got two RCA outlets which is going then i bought two rca fusion cables 
Now they're going to, they must go into auxiliary one. So what I'm going to do is just going to put this onto uh, aux one. I think I just did that, didn't I? No. Hold on, where is it? There's aux one. So I've got to select that now. Right, so that's now connected as and when I turn my pa uh, Garmin screen on in a minute. So I don't know if you can see that. Screen on screen, AUX1, so it has to be set on that. Because <clears throat> don't forget, the Garmin Raymarine don't have internal speakers, which to me is a bit of a pain. So let's now go to turn the screen on. Right. <laughs> Takes a few seconds just to load. So as I say, this is raw, so I haven't tried anything, any of this for a few weeks. So you're gonna have to bear with me on this. Now I've got to, right, so that's on sound. And now even I'm now thinking, right, how do I do this? So if I go into home, now if I remember rightly, I've got to now go into one helm AV gauges. Um, right, there's my media. Right, so I've now got to press source, I think it's aux. Oh, sorry. Uh, aux. I'm sure that's it. No, I think I've done that wrong. Hold on a minute, or have I? No, I think that's all correct. No, because I've only got zone one there, haven't I? Right, see? See what I mean? So, right, let me go back to my remote, Fusion remote. Let me power that on. So that's on AUX. So, ah, no, sorry. I don't need to be on AUX, do I? Because now I just want to show you how to control the fusion link into there. So let me go back into there. Uh, go into iPod. Let me turn that down. There we go, look. If you now see, so all my stereo is connected up here you probably might not be able to see it but if i now i can now control the volume see so that's my volume there so i'm now controlling my msud 750 through my uh, xsv 8410 now that's all through the nema network system that i've already got installed there you go, it shows up there, the hangover, fever, the cramps. There you go, that's that's the music. So I hope you can see some of that. The light's not very good. But that's what we've got there. Right, so now if I remember rightly, how do I now go into thingy? So let me come back out of that. Let me put it onto aux one. So let's come back round. So let me come out of there you go, look, it shows what it's playing, so press select oh where are aux one there we go press select so that's it so i've lost that from there now sorry i come back out into the it's all coming back now so if i now press menu i'll tell you what i can do let me let me put the brightness up there we go sorry about that now you can see it right back so let me now press home press video it probably won't show anything yet menu source hdb hdmi show all right now 
I think I've got to connect my phone. So basically I've come out with the HDMI cable out the back of this and I've come through and it's in my console. So I'm just going to stop this and then I shall connect the um, phone to the HDMI cable. Right, so I've just literally connected my phone. As you can see, that is the length that it came with. So it's literally just come up in my console. I have got an, uh, an extension adapter, but I'm just showing you now before I put that in, so I'm not worried about that at the moment. So my phone is now connected to the HDMI out that goes back up into the XSV master screen, which is up here. So, and then when I turn around, lo and behold, my screen is now mirrored onto there. Now remember, uh, I've just got normal internet on, on my phone, so that's good. Right, so if I now come back to, to my phone, let me scroll across to YouTube. Let's go into my channel. So I'm now playing that up there. So bear with, let me just... Uh, let me just balance that there. Right, so that's not there. So now, as you can see, I've got my own YouTube channel there now. It's playing up on the thing, so hopefully if I turn the volume up. Hold on. Don't think I've allowed the uh, volume on here. No, I didn't. Bear with. Turn the volume up on my phone. Hopefully, now, hold on, what have I done, I've done something wrong, so I've got on aux one, so as I say, it's all a learning curve for me, we're going to home again, media, source, aux, no, some it's not. What have I done wrong? It ah. No, I've done something wrong here. Why isn't the volume working? Um, let me come back out of there then. Home. Video. So I've got full screen now, so I can do all that. Just to have, now, <laughs> as I say, this is, I can't remember how I'm doing this, so bear with. Video setup, source, HDMI. So, I should be able to get the volume up. Hold on, bear with. Right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have another look at this because the volume should be working fine. And all I'm getting is a uh, noise. So there's, there is volume there, but I've just got to find out what I'm doing wrong. I'll speak to you in a bit. Welcome back. Well, I've got the volume up. So that's good. I'm going to video. <laughs> Lovely day. There we go. So now video is now working. I'll tell you what it was. For some reason I had 
and I'll know what I've done. I don't want to... go so you can now watch you can now watch YouTube dare I say you can have you even have a porn channel on it but anything now uh, your Netflix script stream it through your phone it's not actually streamed through the set itself so but what I have done unfortunately I have just put on source so i need to come back out of there go back into there source orcs right let's see if i've done because what i've done then i put alternate between various sources well there's only one source so let's uh turn that down a bit that's better right uh home video now it's still I think it's still connecting between sources which isn't really what I'm wanting it to do see see how the screen so source alter alternates so I want to get out of that show all too fast for a place Oh, I just secured that. No, it's still doing it. So I've pressed something here. I can't seem to get out of it now. Uh, alternate. HDMI helm. So basically if I had a camera out the back or a camera in the engine room, what it's doing is alternating between all videos. Now I just need to come back out of that. Have I done it? It hasn't changed yet, has it? So hopefully I've just cured that. Have I? So you see. So yeah, so I can still control all the all the volumes from here, or I can go up go up onto the fusion stereo itself, turn the volumes up. So, there we go. That's how to, uh, well, try and connect an external system we got? through your XSV. As I say, you have to have a master set. I will put links up to Fusion and Garmin on this at the end of the video so you can click on and it will actually got pictures of the cables that you require. But what I'll do is in a minute, I'm just going to go to the back of the MF, uh, MFD and I'll show you all the connections. Right, welcome back. So I'm now at the back of the unit. So you can see my NEMA system there. Everything's all linked in, into that. So that you, that's your network. Has to add power as well. So basically, the cables that I got 
there's the audio now they're all color coded I can't yeah so that's a green one so as I say this is the master so you've got all the extra things in there and then you get your extra screens where it ha doesn't have so many uh, cable outlets but your other screens are all linked into this one so you can play the same thing through if you've got two or three screens so it's not an issue so you need the audio out that comes with like two jacks that's only quite short I mean don't forget your screens are probably going to be a lot closer than what mine is so I've got this is an actual its own sort of like console this is so you've got an audio out with two with an RCA cable adapter on the end which your two fusion RCA cables then go up to the auxiliary one on your fusion stereo right and the other cable you need you need a HDMI in so you do need that cable now that basically is just your HDMI to your phone then you need a phone adapter to suit whatever phone you've got mine in my case mine's a Samsung Note 20 Ultra so you would need the adapter HDMI for an iPhone or if it's not a C, C port on your phone, it's just your standard one. So you do need that. So I've got NEMA 2000. That's into my, all my T pieces here. Now my Fusion is linked into another T piece under my main console. And that runs the remote the fusion remote then it's all a joining cable here a network cable and then it goes into your other T's here so I've got sounder cables there's another network cable that's for my card reader here so I've got an external card reader because otherwise I'll just have to come in here every time and just put the cards in here so I don't want to be doing that so I've got the two and it's a it's a G G card as well with relief shading so that's all that one I've also got um, course indicator gone in here as well that's another one off my NEMA system and there will be another item being added in the new year which i won't tell you about yet but it will be added so then basically i've got all the capabilities of this screen uh the only thing i haven't got to be fair is uh ais but i've got all the ais uh 650 connected to my axioms anyway to my ray marine one so yeah so basically that's it but that is what you will have under your main console as i say this is a separate console it's got its own power to here it's got its own isolator to here so this is basically another console added to the boat hope all this made sense to you it probably didn't to be fair because uh, I'm a bit gobbledygook when I'm doing this but at least you can see what I've connected and where I've connected it as I say it's trial and error um, the more I use it the easier it's going to be just to connect everything as I say, it's all wired, it's just then literally playing with all your various buttons, this, that and the other, to get what you want up. But yeah, I think it's brilliant. And the good thing about this is, you know, I haven't got to, uh, it's just normal data off your phone. It's not like I've got to use the Wi-Fi hotspot like I do with the Axioms. Although the Axioms do have apps built in, whereas these haven't. Uh, you've got the Active Captain app, uh, just for updating all your charts and everything. Uh, which then logs into your phone so you can do everything from your phone operate everything but um, But yeah, I really like this system um, It's a few quid just to uh, It probably cost me about All the cables probably cost me around about a hundred and maybe a hundred and seventy pounds for all the cables Including the two RCA cables speaker cables up to the AUX one. So yeah to be fair 
obviously the outlay is bloody expensive as in the screen and all your various bits of meat you know your network cable system that's it quite expensive by the time you add everything but to actually get a uh, external picture and everything films and stuff like that it is a lot easier than the the Ray marine i would say because as i say you don't have to use a hotspot wi-fi hotspot it's just literally data but once you've done it it's brilliant absolutely superb so i hope you enjoyed it um as i say uh, if you'd like to like and subscribe that would be brilliant um i am getting there slowly it is a bit raw what i do there's nothing planned it is what it is it's a bit more hands-on and everything so hope you enjoy talk to you soon